Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I have another whole video. Sorry, I've been getting a lot of stuff lately. It's just that um, most of them were really on good sell prices and and I just needed some stuff. You know, I don't have like too many. But um, mainly I'm focusing on more of the vintage paper and things like that because that's what I like. And I've seen other type of paper, which I really, really like. But, um, I, like I said, I'm trying to focus only on vintage um, or distress or, I don't know, whatever you want to call that paper. So I found, um, like, I've been trying to look here and there in different places. And most of this stuff, it's in different um, Michaels and Yuan and things like that. Uh, this one is from Kane Company, and this is a it's called a speciality paper. Uh, this is a 12 by 12 pad with 28 sheets, and um, it was only 2.49. Believe it or not, it was on sale. I found it on a, a sale rack, like really hidden in a corner, <laughs> and I was like, okay, let me check how much it is because sometimes you know you can get real good deals at Michaels. If you really look, like really get in, into the sales rack or by any chance you passed her by and saw something and you didn't know it was on sale, you all, I always ask because they don't tell you and they actually don't have marked the price. So anyway, this is the specialty paper. So let me see if I can show you a little. Let me take this one out because I'm gonna, I have two. So I'm going to show you. Um, sort of a little bit how this looks and this is a uh, back and front paper so it's kind of a very nice vintage look see here look at that that's really cool when I saw this paper when it wasn't on sale I fell in love with it but it was like this patch run about $17 or fourteen dollars each depending on what brand or things like that so I mean I, I couldn't beat the bar you know the sale it was a bargain this is just pretty pretty paper look look how see like pieces of uh, newspaper on, on the on the on the I don't know on the page it's really cool look at this one Look at this. I love this one. This is like a map. And I have lots of different colors in. And there's some pages that have like embossing. I'm going to show you. Oh, this, this is like metallic look. I don't know if the camera catches this, but this paper is beautiful. It has like a metallic um tendency and as well as embossing look look you see how shiny it is it's the fish are embossed and it looks really really cool and here see I don't, I don't know if the camera catches it but look at that it has like an embossing pattern on top of the paper so I thought that was kind of pretty neat see metallic again metallic colors this is just gorgeous paper. Look at that. These are like stamped and they're all embossed as well. Some of them. You can see the shining. That's because it's embossed. So that's this one. Then I got another um, 12 by 12 paper pad. Uh, this brings 48 sheets and this is from Recollection and it's called Regent Street then again I was just passing by and I just saw this at uh, this was not even on a rack cell they were in the paper they were around the paper stack the regular paper stack but I, I don't know it was kinda of mixed and I was looking for vintage and to see what I can get and and then I encountered this and I saw, I noticed had like a, 
like a yellow sticker usually the this is at Michael's right so usually you don't see this if, if it has a sticker on it it's because it's on sale if not it's regular price so I thought oh, okay um, let me check how much it is so I did and and the ticket says like around seven ninety nine, but when I was in the register, they told me it was only the same price as the other one, two forty nine, something like that. And I was like, really? Wow, because this one is really thicker, thicker than the other one. There's a big difference between this one and the other one. So I thought it was cool. And then again, I couldn't beat the price. This is more sturdy paper, but look how nice has a um, very vintage uh, look and you can actually pre-cut you see it brings like tags and tickets and things like that so I thought it was kind of neat this one also has like an embossing feeling on it look at that if it shines it's because it's embossed this one has embossed as well see that this one is not double sized this is just one side paper but I mean come on for the price and usually not all of the paper I get I would love for them for be double sized but um, sometimes you can find things like this they're not this one's completely embossed but look how nice it's like pieces of paper on top of each other like newspaper kind of thing so that was really pretty look at this I love brown colors like that. Check that out. Beautiful paper. Oh, I love this one, my favorite. So it's like the, you know, hat from that time. A man hat. Pretty paper. Look at this. So pretty. I love it. I mean, the colors are stunning. It's exactly what I was looking for. So, oh, look, this is another hat paper, but this is different. This is like um, a smaller hat, and they're embossed. Look at the color. Really vintage. Again, the hat here. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And, and these are more oriented, like, for men's style so I kind of like it because usually you don't find too much of a men's style paper but um everything vintage is so awesome for me look at this one more hats but in red look the hat is here again I don't know you can do so much with this paper I can imagine you can't wait to work with all this stuff. Look at this. Look how beautiful. I love it. I mean, like, this paper is awesome. Look at this one. And it has, like, like all um, distressed, distressed um, edges. Like, if somebody would have drop a cup of coffee or something, it's cool. the hat again over here As you can see that look at that how pretty and there we go more more of that distressed look look at this one umbrellas oh oh guys you have no idea how much fun I've been having with an umbrella um, I just recently got an umbrella and <laughs> for some reason you know the Sun here is so so strong <laughs> And it reminds me of the Umbrella Man of Tim Holtz. So I'm like, yay! <laughs> Having so much fun with my umbrella because instead of being the Umbrella Man, I'm the Umbrella Chick. <laughs> Alright. This as well, it was only 99 cents. It's from K and Company. This goes with the first paper pad I showed you. I've, there, I think it's the, it's the same line because this is like, um, you know, uh, traveling. These are like in traveling figures or stickers. I don't know if the glare 
sorry about the glare, but the glare is like bothering in the way. But look at those images. They are 3D, by the way. Yeah, these are 3D pop out tickets. They're very pretty. So that's that. I also found another Inca Ding to do at Marshalls. This was in a different Marshalls, though. So, um, this is for Happy Thanksgiving. And they're all sentiments of Thanksgiving and things like that. And harvest. Be harvest plenty. Be thankful. Thankful for you. Fall colors, gratitude, and happy Thanksgiving. And they're very pretty. So. Better, better than that. Anything. So now that com it doesn't complete, but I have now three of them. So it's kind of cool to have all of these. I can't wait to see them Christmas. Maybe they they might sell some of the Christmas um, stamps, clear stamps. So I got this paper as well. These are um, from my mind's eye. Uh, like I said, I was looking for more vintage paper. And when I saw this paper, I was like, oh, wow. Because I was ready to buy, uh, I think, K & Company. I don't know if it's K & Company or another brand. That had this beautiful Halloween paper at Joanne's, but um, I kind of make you know more research around the stores, and then I found these on Michaels. These are new, by the way. I never seen these on Michaels, so um, they have like a a bunch of different you know. These are eight by eight, and they have different very vintage kind of look paper. But these are awesome. These. I, I was looking more for Halloween and Christmas because I really don't have any of that type of paper. So I found this, and this is called Hunted. And let's check it out. This paper is super awesome as well. Look at that. It's double sided. I think all of my mind's eye paper is double sized. Um, well, as far as the ones I have got, this is will be like my third <laughs> paper stack from my mind's eye. Look at that. Look how cool. Halloween theme. So you get calendar, spider, and then it repeats again. Which and so so this is a very fun paper. And I can't wait to work with it. Then, as well, I got um, the Christmas one. This is called the, the Santa Claus paper. And this is, again, from my mind's eye. So check this out. So pretty. This is exactly what I was looking for. Vintage. Uh, pretty. <laughs> I mean, it couldn't be better, right? Look at that one, Santa Claus here. And the colors are, are really, really nice. Yeah, I love it. It repeats itself. Like, you know, you got a double, the same paper here. And then if you go to the front, you will find the same stuff again. See? Really, really pretty paper. So that's that. Then I think the most interesting of this haul is this stuff. I found this yesterday as well. Um, oh, uh, sorry for the glare. Uh, okay, here we go. Like that. <laughs> the glare won't bother you if I put it like this. Um, this is a Mart Stewart mini scoring board. I have never seen nobody talking about a Marge Stewart mini scoring board on YouTube. Now, I think this is a new product, and I guess because uh, I've been eyeing the Marge Stewart scoreboard uh, because everybody recommends it. It's like the best scoreboard out there. Um, but every time I've been wanting to get it, I, I get another thing, and I never get it. But I saw this one. 
yesterday and it, it was new completely new because I never seen this before at Michael's so it was like what mini score and that's exactly what I wanted because I don't my space is not that big so usually I get smaller things so I can work in the area and this is perfect so this is and I don't know if you never seen it or if if nobody has it I, I mean I have I, everybody talks about the big one nobody talks about the small one and then they, if they have a small one, it's from another brand that I, is, is, I think is called the Scoring Pal. So I think this one is kind of like mimicking that one, but in a better way because it's the Martha Stewart. So I can't wait to use it. I can't wait to see how this works. But this is really cool. And this was only $10. So you couldn't beat the price either. 10 plus a 40% coupon. Come on. You see what I mean? So I got it for less than ten dollars. So this is really cool. The same thing with um, this one. I got this one. This runs about ten bucks. And I think uh, I I got this one at Joanne's. I need a new trimmer because you all know I I use this little one. Look at this one. Look at the size between one and the other. So this little one. Even though it's been doing the job, but it has its defects. Um, this was something I bought a long time ago. And the, uh, you know, it, it, it looks like it's for um, when you are traveling or something because you get the host to put it like in a binder or something. But really, um, this is it's giving me some headaches because it doesn't cut right straight so this is for something like really quick little little pieces of paper that you want to cut so it won't give me the exact cut but it, it has been doing the job and I can complain it's from Fiskar and I'll use it when I'll go somewhere and I need a smaller trimmer that instead of carrying this big thing I can carry a small one so I'll I'll keep it I'm not gonna get rid of it but I found this, um, I, I wanted it a Fiskar, but the Fiskar, um, they run a little bit more expensive. And when I saw this, this is from the Cricut company. Um, when I saw this one, I said, you know, I didn't want to spend too much money. And uh, Fiskars are run about 15 to $20, uh, depending on the size and on what you want. And I've heard or read a lot of people that they recommend that they don't fool around with any other kind of trimmer, but to use uh, Fiskars. But um, this was for only $9.99, and I had a 40% coupon, and it came out like six something, six fifty, something like that. You know, I couldn't beat the price. Then again, I couldn't beat the price. The same as the Martha Stewart little scoring board, mini scoring board. You know. And what I like about this one is, let me see if I can do a little close-up, is that it brings the ruler that stands out. So this one is much better than the one I had because I can cut 12 by 12 paper pads with this. So if I would have bought the Fiskar that I was looking for, that it was like around $15, it didn't have that extended arm. And I think for some projects and the way you do things that extended arm it's important because that's how you get the right measurements and things like that so even though it's a Cricut and it's green um, I like it I think it's really cool I don't know I, I might do a, 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 a review about it there's not too much people on YouTube reviewing this trimmer um, and then I, because of as a cricket, I, you know, this will be my first cricket um, thing that I get. And whenever I get things like that, it's because I'm aiming for the big stuff. And I really, after my experience with the big shot, and, you know, my friend has sent me a lot of cricket uh, cut things. I've been looking forward to one day get a Cricut machine because I think they're awesome I think they're they have you know it's a different way of doing cutting or, or cutting out um, shapes and forms and images and I really like it 
So, you know, maybe in the future, you will never know, I can get a cricket machine. I, I'm really looking forward for that. So this will give me that impulse to get one of those. So guys, as you can see, this has been a fun, fun haul. Uh, really cool stuff I got. And um, other than that, I would love to um, show you all the fun things coming up that, I'm, that I will make. And please stay tuned and rate, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. And goodbye. Thank you so much.